Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. We give you the adoration. We give you the worship. The supremacy. The dominion. The rule. Thank you, Master. And thank you, Master. And thank you, Master. For a day like this. Let your hand touch someone. Let your power touch someone. Let freedom reign for somebody. Confirm that you are always there to help this man and to help this woman. To the glory of your name. In Jesus' precious name. your seat in the presence of the Lord. God has done so much for us this morning and so we are not going to press further into so much but very very quickly the power of God is available like you can see The problem has never been the availability of power. The problem has been connectivity with power. I'm speaking on connecting God's power for healing and deliverance. Connecting God's power for healing and deliverance. In Psalm 34 and in verse 5, the Bible said they looked up to they looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces we are not ashamed. I said at first that the problem has never been the availability of God's power for healing and deliverance. The problem has always been connectivity. Just in your eyes now, someone on the stretcher rose and walked Someone with a cervical collar got healed. Several other things that happen in your eyes now. So it's not the problem with the power. People are not dirty because soap is lacking. People may be dirty because they have not gone to buy soap or they are too lazy to be clean. People are not illiterate because there are no schools. People may be illiterate because they don't have money to go to school like we had just now or they are too lazy to go to school. That is how the power of God is. There is the availability of power right now. What do you do to connect five things. There will be many things, but I will mention five. Number one, look up to God. He is the source of the power. Look up to God. Psalm 34 verse 5 says, they looked unto him and we are lightened. And their faces we are not ashamed. Look unto God. Let me say something very serious. 
never place the responsibility for your healing and deliverance on a mortal man. Don't ever look for a man as responsible for your healing, for your deliverance. Many people look up to man and they remain ashamed. They look up, looked up to man and their condition remained. Whose responsibility is it for you to be healed and delivered? It is a shared responsibility between you and God. You supply the conditions, God releases the provisions. Man is just a channel in between. You supply the faith, God supplies the power. The pastor is like a cable. The pastor is like a wire. Whose responsibility is it? It is a shared responsibility between you and God. Pastor was a channel. God is the source. You are the recipient. Look up to God. Number two, keep Hope alive. Never give up on God and never lose hope in life. Keep hope alive. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 4 said to him that is joined to the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. A living dog is better than a dead lion. People go down when they give up. You know that hope is the raw material for faith. Faith. Is the substance of things hoped for. Keep hope alive. Never give up. Never lose hope. Number three. Lay hold on the word. The word of God. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent forth his word and healed them. And delivered them from their destruction. He sent forth his word, word and healed. Lay hold on the word. Rest your faith on the word of God. Because the word of God is fuel for faith. Lay hold on the word. Number four. Focus on the ultimate. Not the immediate. Focus on the ultimate. See yourself healed. Focus on the ultimate. Not the immediate. Don't see yourself in your condition. See yourself in your expectation. 
See yourself walking. See yourself running. I went to meet a woman. I'm hiding the identity just for privacy purpose. Who was at the terminal? Man, terminal condition. Massive heart attack on oxygen. Everything was all water to go in the hospital. And I said to her, Look at this, your daughter. Has she married? No. You need to see her get married and see her child. Look at this, your child. Say, look at all of them. I say, so I want you to see beyond this heart attack and see this beyond this situation. See yourself in your daughter's wedding. See yourself. Carrying their children. See yourself in this and see yourself in that. She was able to see all that. Under 24 hours. She was released. Off oxygen. Heart back to normal. She has seen all those people got married. And is still alive. You connect it by seeing it. See yourself walk out of the wheelchair. See yourself in your husband's house with your children. See yourself drive to the church in your family car. See the ministry flourishing. Don't face the ultimate. Sorry, don't face the immediate. Focus on the ultimate. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18. For where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Finally, number five. Proceed in praise. Proceed in praise. Confirm your conviction by your celebration. Refuse to be cast down. Be in the celebration mood. Concerning Abraham in Romans chapter 4 verse 20. The Bible said even before Abraham saw his child Isaac and before he saw the, the promise. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But was strong in faith. Giving glory to God. Strong in faith. Giving glory to God. Strong in faith. If you know that the healing will happen and no devil can stop it. And you know that you will get married and no devil can stop it. You know you will carry your child and no devil can stop it. And you know. That you will be totally free from that affliction and no devil can stop it. Then you don't wait until it happens. Before you praise. You praise it into happening. These are things we do. To connect with power that is already available. It's already available. You look up to God, not to the pastor. You keep the hope alive. You lay hold on the wall. You focus on the ultimate. Then you proceed in praise. After healing and deliverance service, at times there are still so many people waiting. I want you to pray for me. I want you to touch me. And I asked myself the question. The whole time we spent in the service, it means I wasted my life. The man that came from Port Harcourt, who touched him? 
He landed, he began to speak. The one who came for the altar call, whose child was deaf and dumb from school, who touched him. And we have diverse miracles. When we look up to a man, it doesn't matter whether that man is a pastor. Our frustration continues. Hallelujah. Look up to God. See your miracle. See yourself standing on the altar testifying. See yourself standing with your child. Dream it. Picture it. The dream you dream by yourself is superior to the dream you dream at night. Superior. The dream you dream at night. Superior. You suddenly dream that somebody collected your car key and you woke up you did, and they left. Close your eye back and re retrieve the car key. Dream it consciously and collect the key back. Hallelujah. Everybody can imagine. Can't you imagine something? You imagine many, but the words that people imagine negative things. Imagine it positive. Imagine the positive. Somebody say amen. It is a new day for you. Lift up your right hand. Begin to talk to God. Lord, I'm looking up to you. I refuse to look up to a man. I'm looking up to you. up to God. I'm sorry if I ever looked up to a man. I turn my eyes on you at this time. I turn my eyes on you at this time. Amen. Hey. 